What is up, Ghoul Army? Dark Ghoul here, back at it again with another video. But in today's... Okay, I can't do that for a while because my throat, my mouth, my voice, it feels off. So we're just gonna get right into the video, guys. And in today's video, we got ourselves some very special, weird, um, not worth it products, I guess you can say. Because we got one, two and three packages and guess where all these packages are from yeah you guessed it china that's where all of these came from now obviously i crossed off the information you know personal information for obvious reasons but we're just gonna get into these packages and see exactly what we can find in them like i said pokemon cards from china like what rings a bell when you hear those two as a combination Fake cards. Yeah, that's right. So basically what we're going to be doing is checking out what's inside each of these packages as well as seeing how many ultra rares can we get in this video, guys. So let's go ahead and take out the first item. And as you can see, it looks like it's some sort of cardboard with cards. And obviously in the back, it is extremely fake. But yo... That Rodicate, that Lucario, okay, I'm kind of excited in opening this one up because it does have a variety of cards. Instead of your typical fake cards, you have like, I don't know, like a Mega Audino Pikachu. We got a full art Lucario right there and a Rodicate with never before seen artwork. Like literally, I've never seen that artwork before. But let's go ahead and check out the front. We got Pokemon XY right there, 2017. You guys are late because we are already going into 2018. And as you can see, these are fake because on top, the Pokemon logo is legit cut off. That's crazy. No, nah, I'm just playing. I cut that off when I was trying to open the package. So that was basically my fault right there. But we got Pokemon Go on the front right there. And I don't have to tell you guys that these are fake because like I said, anything with Pokemon Go trading card game related is fake. Like there's no such thing as Pokemon Go cards. There isn't. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one right here. And we got a Pokemon Generations Crabominable right there. Now I do have to hold this from the sides because this is literally coming apart. Like they could have done the packaging better. Maybe tape the sides so just the top is open. So we got another fake booster pack right here. And I don't know what to expect on this one. It does have a description in the back. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. It does say generations, but with a description of flash fire right there. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. And finally, guys, we got a package, a white package. And the main reason why I was mad about this package in specific is look how they packaged the cards. They literally took the cards toss them in a bubble mailer and ship them out that's it so they don't even care if the cards are damaged or what's the deal with these because they literally threw them in the package and just shipped them out the way they were no protection whatsoever guys so it does look like these cards did not take a hit whatsoever which is lucky because you guys would have been receiving a bad review if that was the case you feel me so let's actually go ahead and go through this stack of cards right here like I said, the main idea on these uh, fake packs is to see how many ultra rares can we get. Honestly, out of these three booster packs, I'm going to guess that we're going to get three, not three ultra rares, 20 ultra rares from three packs. That kind of seems a little steep, but you never know with these fake packs, guys. You never know. So we got a crow. Oh my God. I was about to say holographic, but they have like the holographic shine, but the shine isn't there. They have the pattern, basically. But we got a Crobat right there. Fromantis, Zubat, Cutie Fly, Herdier. And it looks like these are just basic fake cards. You know, nothing crazy about these. And yo, we got an Oranguru, aka Sharpedo in disguise, guys. Check that out. This is supposed to be a Sharpedo, but instead it's an Oranguru. Like, can they get any bad with these names? That's crazy, man. We got to put that in the highlights. We got a Sandile that evolves from Saida, guys. Oh my god, really? They got to get these names wrong, but we got a Carvana, Grubbin, Great Ball, a Lapras GX with the Holofoil on it. 
check that out. It kind of looks like a painting, honestly. So I'll take that any day. We got a Donald Trump GX, y'all. We always have to get the Donald Trump GX, man, in every opening. We got a Hypno, which is a Gigalith, actually, not a Hypno. That's crazy, man. That's crazy how they don't know the names of these Pokemon. Either that or they just print them in Rush, you know, like they're rushing and printing all these cards so they don't know what to put on the cards themselves. So we got a Pelepper, Grimer, Trumpbeak, Stoutland. We got a Hypno. Now, this is a Hypno, guys. The other card was a Gigalith. We got a Primarina, Tauros GX. This one actually looks pretty good, honestly. The color is on point for this Tauros GX, so that's kind of scary, honestly. We got another Hypno, guys. This is Hypno right here. That's a Gigalith, but this is a Hypno. So let's actually put that for the recap. We got a Marini, we got a Chinchow, Surskit, a Lolan Radike, we got a Grimer. We just got some more basic fake cards that you will typically see every day we got like a ton of duplicates what's wrong with these like i swear we got like five hypnos in this entire stack right here that's crazy but i mean it is what it is they don't have any creativity or don't know too many pokemon besides the newer sets so that's probably why they chose these and this dratini has like an error printing line on there that's crazy man that's actually really really rare so on the recap we actually got Let's see, we got three Ultra Rares so far. We got three Ultra Rares and a ton of misprint cards right there. If that isn't crazy, I have no idea what is. But your boy actually has to do a quick thumbnail. So let's actually go ahead and get a few Ultra Rares and make a quick thumbnail and I'll get back to you guys. Alrighty everybody and we are back in action. On the right we got our misprints. On the left we got our Ultra Rares. So let's actually go ahead and open this one because it's just packaged really bad. Like who would package Pokemon cards like that? That's terrible. That is terrible. So we got a C dot holographic and I have no idea what to consider this. The holofoil pattern on this is crazy stupid. Like, it actually looks pretty good, honestly. I like the border on this card. I wish they'd bring back holofoil borders on other cards, like older EX cards and whatnot. So I'm actually going to put this... Should we consider this an ultra rare? Let's actually consider this as a regular holofoil. So we got three stacks right there. And the text on these cards is actually not the same as the other fake cards. So we got an Amoongus break, guys. Omungus does not have a break. That is crazy. Or does it, guys? Now I'm questioning myself. Does Amoongus have a break? Let me know in the comments down below. But we got a freaking crazy Amoongus break. We got a Zora, Skiddo, Zwellius, Gorgeous. Uh, did I just say Gorgeous or Gorgeous, I meant? I have no idea why I called a pumpkin Gorgeous, but I mean, you are pretty gorgeous, honestly. And we got, what is this? We got a Mega Blaze again check the statistics right there guys it has high defense but it's pretty much a bad pokemon on ivs honestly but we got a mega blaze again ex that is crazy why did i say ex this is just a mega blaze again this is like an ultra rare. that definitely has to be an ultra rare we're gonna take a look at that more in the end but we got an electros holofoil tyrant purloin we got a Rhea Nicholas break right there. And I'm pretty sure Rhea Nicholas does not have a break because it does obviously say Radicate break on the top right corner. So get it together, guys. Get it together. So the final pack of Destiny, guys. What can we get from here? What can we expect from this little box of cards? I have no idea. From the back of this, it does look promising, honestly. So let's check out the first card. We got a Ghastly that has seen better days because it's literally discolored on the art. But it's still a nice looking card nonetheless. So we got a Ghastly right there. And yo, that is like really damaged. Why would they send cards that are damaged? I have no idea. So we got a Zatu. Oh my god, we got a Mew. I've never seen that artwork, guys. Check that out. Check out that Mew. That looks really cute. I'm actually going to keep that for the Mew and Mew 2 binder that I have. So we got a Doug Trio. And I've never seen that artwork as well. What is going on here? Oh my god, we got an Ultimate Kyogre. Grade 11 with 7,000 attack and 5,700 defense points. This is like some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff right here, guys, with sheer cold. Let's actually go ahead and read the text real quick. 
A mythical Pokemon said to have swelled the seas with rain and tidal waves, it battled with Groudon. That is crazy, guys. That actually looks pretty cool, honestly. I'm actually going to put that with the Ultras. We got some insane fake stuff, guys. I'm not even going to lie. We got a Golduck, Mankey. Oh my god, we get a Mew and Jirachi. Yo, what is going on here? With 6,850 attack points, this Kyogre can definitely rock Mewtwo and Jirachi. Why did I say Mewtwo? It could definitely rock Mew and Jirachi to the graveyard. Why am I saying graveyard? I have no idea. But that is crazy, guys. We got a Croconaw, Togepi, Belossum, Azumero, Verizion, Holographic. We got a Zekrom. And yo, Mew and Articuno. We are definitely going to put these in the Mew and Mewtwo binder. Like, these are absolutely dope looking. However, Articuno is blue, not purple. So get that together. We got a Mr. Mime, Slowpoke, Furret, Porygon, and a Tauros to end things off, guys. Honestly, this has been better than I expected. Like, all these Ultra Rares. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we didn't get 20, which is fine because we got some insane Ultra Rares from here. Now, we got four Misprints right here. We got Hypno, Sandiles, and Orangaroos. And then we got some classic holofoils right here, which are absolutely terrible. However, this C dot is pretty decent because it's in decent shape. We got this exclusive Mew right here, and it just looks absolutely amazing. For some reason, it reminds me of realistic artwork. I have no idea why, guys, but it just does, honestly. And let's actually go ahead and take a look at our ultra rares. We got a Gumchoos, Tauros, Lapras, and this is when it gets weird, guys. We got an Amoongus break. We got a Mega Blaze again. Like, what's going on here? What is the purpose of this card right here? I have no idea. And we got a Rioniclus Break. We got a Kyogre. Ultimate Kyogre, guys. And then we got a Mew and Jirachi card. As well as a Mew and Articuno. These are definitely the highlights of this video, guys. As well as these odd breaks and the Mega Blaze again. But, yo... Check these out, guys. That is absolutely crazy right there. If this isn't crazy, I have no idea what is, guys. So without further ado, if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button right now, guys. Turn on that bell for post notifications just so you never miss a video. And make sure you guys subscribe. Join the Ghoul Army. I'm probably going to give away all these Ultra Rares and whatnot. But without further ado... I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.